It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to send emails from other third-party email accounts in Gmail. So, in Gmail, it's a very cool mail service, but the uh, the only way you can use the web app, which is really cool, is by is using your Gmail address. But Often you might have another address that's not a Gmail address, whether it's from some other service that's like Gmail, or maybe it's actually a, cu- a custom domain name email. You may-, may have many other different email that is not from Gmail. So you might want to be able to send an email from your Gmail account, but not have it go from your Gmail address. You might want it to go from some other address that you have and in this episode Tim is going to show you a very easy way that you can send an email from another address but out of your Gmail account so that's really cool and in this episode Tim is going to show you how to do it. So when you're logged into Gmail you need to go up to the top right hand corner and click on the cog icon and then in the drop down menu click on settings and then up this top menu here go and click on accounts and import and you come down here to where it says send mail as so Timmy already has a few addresses in here but if you didn't it would just say your gmail address so what you need to do is add another email address so click on that and it brings up this little pop-up window here and you need you need to fill out the information that you need for that address so you need to enter the name, which is the name that it would look like when it's sent. So if you sent it to someone, they would see that name in the from box. And then you need to type in the email address that you actually want to put in there. And then click next step. So now you need to enter all the servers that you want that it'll send from. So these servers can be found on your email service provider in like a settings page or something. But if someone else set up your email account for you, you may need to contact them and ask them to give you the information for it. So you need to get this information. And the first box you need to put in is the server. So you need to go and find the server of your email address. And then, so once that in, it'll probably be something like this, but it can vary. And now you need to select the port. So you need to find out which port it is. So then, if once you know what port it is, you just click on the drop-down menu and click on the one that it is. And then in the username box, you need to enter the username that you use in to log that you use to log into your email account. So you may it may just be your email address or it may just be your name or it there's many different options so just use whatever one you use and then you need the email password so just put in whatever password you use to log into your email account and then if you want to use a secured connection select this one and that's recommended because that's probably what you should do but if you using TLS then you select that one obviously and then you just click on add account and then you need to enter a verification code so they'll send an email to the email address that you're adding and that email will have the code in it so you need to open check your emails and get that code and then it says here your confirmation code is this so the best way is just to copy the confirmation code and then go paste it back in the other box. So when you're back to here, just paste that in the box and click verify. So now you see here that email address is set up to send from your Gmail account. So if you click on compose, then you'll notice in the from from thing here, if you click on that, it's now a drop down menu and then you can select the email address that you just added. You can still select your Gmail if you want to select, send from your Gmail, but then now if you want to send from this email address, you can do that as well, which is really cool. So that's how it's done, and that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Bye. Tim.